Okay, Movie Club, this is my review for the movie Chicago. And I have to say, I was really looking forward to this one, especially since there hasn't been a Movie Club movie in a while that I've actually enjoyed. But I've, heard, I've seen this a few times in the past, and this is definitely one of my favorite musicals of all time. And I'm glad we were able to see it, because we don't really see that many musicals on Movie Club. Like, the only ones I can remember Movie Club ever doing are Moulin Rouge, uh, Repo, Dr. Horrible Sing Along Block. And those are all pretty good. You know, Repo is eh. But, you know, the other two are pretty good, too. But Chicago is just, you know, just so amazing. And the reason Chicago is such a good, you know, musical adaptation to a movie, the reason that it works so well is because everything is done so well. You know, uh, you know, you have great acting. The production is v very good. And I really enjoyed, like, all the music throughout this movie. Uh, for a personal favorite, my, probably my favorite song in this movie is definitely, uh, would be, like, the Cell Block Tango when we find out, you know, how everybody in the jail got there. Um, I'll say, but overall, I think the big thing I wanted to focus on is the acting because there are really like five key actors in this movie, and only one of them is really kind of forgettable, and that's Richard Gere. I mean, you have Renee Zellweger, who does a very good job. Queen Latifah, who I don't think I've ever, ever really seen in a movie outside of this. Uh, you know, probably the most underrated performance to me is John C. Riley as Renee Zellweger's husband. And after watching this movie, this makes me, it's always so difficult watching this movie with John C. Riley in it because it makes me both love him and hate him at the same time. Because he gives an incredible performance, an amazing performance in this movie, but he like hasn't done any any serious work since then. I mean, since then all he's been doing is, you know, He's like the number two man in every Will Ferrell comedy movie, you know, except Dewey Cox, where he was the lead role. And it's like, you know, I get that he does it because he probably enjoys doing those movies and it makes a lot of money, but I just kind of want to see him in more serious work because I don't really like his work in comedies and he did great here. And then probably the best performance out of anybody in this movie, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh my god. I mean, I would have her baby. She is, she is just smoking in this movie, uh, and just, it's just unbelievable, in the, his performance. Uh, all in all, would definitely recommend this movie, especially if you're a fan of musicals. Definitely worth a watch if you have the time. Check it out.